Hello, and welcome to this in-source production of how to use the Wonderware Historian Tag Rename Utility. These are the general steps in this process. First, we're going to get a list of tags we want to rename and export the list. Next, we're going to shut down and disable the Historian. Then we're going to rename the tags using the Historian Tag Rename Utility. And finally, we'll re-enable the Historian and verify the changes. Now let's begin. We'll begin the process by going to our Historian server and opening up the System Management Console. Here I'm going to navigate to the area where my uh, tags are located and within this area these are the tags that I'm that I may want to uh, rename to something else so so that I can remember uh, what they are I'm just going to highlight topic right click on it and I'm going to export the list and I'm gonna put it in the location where I can find it I'm gonna put it on my desktop and once I've done that, I'm going to uh, navigate back to status and I'm going to right click and I'm going to shut down and disable the historian. Once the historian has successfully uh, been shut down and disabled, we can minimize the interface uh, to the SMC. And now we need to navigate and find the historian tag rename utility. We do that by opening up Windows Explorer, going to, in this case, the C drive, Program Files x86, locate Wonderware, Historian, x64, and here's the AAH tag rename application. We'll run the application and that will bring us uh, this dialog box about connecting to the historian runtime database you can log in uh, through Windows authentication or SQL Server authentication in this case I'm going to use SQL Server authentication you can use Windows authentication provided that the user the logged on user has uh, the appropriate rights to the runtime database in SQL Server so once I've uh, put in the username and password, I'll click on connect and I'll get this informational message, a reminder to shut down and disable the historian before continuing. And I select OK. Now I'm going to demonstrate two different methods of renaming tags using this particular utility. The first method is the manual method, which is I'm just going to add a tag. I'll just click on add tag I'll get this dialog box and I'm gonna open up this uh, tag list that I created earlier so that I can remember which tags I want to rename so I'll select one just simply copy it paste it paste it again and I'm gonna change the name I'll select OK now you see that the it has been populated with the old old tag name and the new tag name I'll highlight it and select rename tags now if it was successful I shall get I'll get a status indication and at this point I can go back and restart the historian now but I'm gonna show you the second way so I'll just simply remove this one and now this time I'm gonna do it with a CSV now this is the CSV that I created for this particular process so the format is really simple old tag name comma new tag name so I'm gonna add that CSV and as you notice it populates um, the uh, old tag name and the new tag name uh, columns so I'll just select rename tags now if there is an issue some type of issue in the system then you will get indication that for instance it'll say this does not exist in the database so once this is done 
Uh, you can verify that by going back to your historian uh, runtime database and checking to see if that tag is actually there or not. So once this is, is successful, I'm going to select close. I'll head back to my historian. And I'm going to go all task and I'm going to enable and allow to run. Once the historian has successfully restarted, I'll navigate to my topic and verify that I have new tags. These are the tags that I renamed and that's uh, simply let's head back to the desktop and let's um, take a look at my uh, CSV file and you can see I, it went from heat EX 200 to uh, heat EX 100. So I'll just minimize that, head back to the SMC and verify that uh, the tags were renamed. Now minus the one that I had that was an error. Um, notice that there is no tt1.pv. Uh, so that's the system was correct. And here you see the manual uh, addition uh, rename method where it went from heat ex 300 to heat ex 400. That concludes this video on how to use the historian tag rename utility. Thank you. Need to learn more about this and other InSource products? Check out our training tracks designed to guide you down your learning path for InSource products. Whether you're using a classic InTouch and historian architecture or using system platform, we have a track to help you get the most out of your software investment. To register or learn, learn more, click the link in the video description below. Thanks for watching this InSource video.